Hello and thank you for joining us here inside of Finley Stadium coming to you live via 11 Sports and FIFA Plus from the scenic city, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Regular season action and two teams headed in very different directions. Savannah Clovers FC has made the journey from Savannah, Georgia to take on Chattanooga Football Club. Savannah 1-2-1 one, one in league play on the season. Chattanooga Football Club 3-0-1 oh, in league play. I'm Gabriel Shry here alongside Zaka Fejas. Today we'll be bringing you all of the action between these two great ball clubs. Nisa regular season play. First off, we're going to go over our starting lineups and players to watch here today for Chattanooga Football Club. Antoine getting the start up between the pipes. Stripling, Prepolita, Bowers, Perez, Dixon, the captain, McGrath, Garcia Sosa, Moape, Naglastad, and Louis. Great starting lineup there. Couple of changes. Taylor Gray out today, Louis in his place. Yeah, uh, interesting lineup again. Uh, an opportunity for some players there to step in uh, in gray spot. We, we do have plenty of depth in our um, in our squad, you know, especially in the attacking position. So uh, you see Louis coming in and, 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 and keeping that starting position and Mwape as well uh, coming back to the starting lineup. You know, he had some great games uh, when he played more minutes. So today another chance for him to, you know, fill in and, and show us you know what he's capable of and right now the ball being brought out onto the pitch here all good middle schools team doing the walkout with the officials love to see it I spoke to head coach Nick Crabtree they're playing against Cumberland United on Wednesday for the conference championship yeah such a nice uh, thing we have you know a, a city with with soccer in its youth and, and being able to bring those guys out here uh, to be celebrated and also showcased for for the fans, you know, it's a, it's a nice touch for them from CFC to do that. And tore the miniature ID4 Volkswagen car right up front, carrying the game ball for today's match. We'll break for the playing of the American National Anthem and return with more football action here on 11 Sports and FIFA Plus. Both clubs huddling up, starting 11 on the pitch. Ready to kick off here inside of Fort Finley, Finley Stadium in the heart of Chattanooga, Tennessee. Andrew Barriman, the player to watch for Savannah. Leading the team, two goals in four league games. A catalyst for the offensive attack of the Savannah Clovers Football Club. The keepers here today, we've mentioned them a couple of times already especially when we went through that starting lineup and talked about their success. Antoine, the league's most valuable goaltender last season. He started four contests so far, zero goals allowed. Yeah, it's this impressive stat, you know, for you, you, you to be able to hold that all the way to this point in the season, you know. Um, I'm sure, you know, they, they think about it, you know, they, they're gonna want to maintain that record, you know, that clean sheet today. Again, it's it's doable. We know we can do it. So, uh, um, you know, you expect to see a lot from him today. Hopefully, not a lot of action, but whenever necessary, you know, we know he's gonna be he's gonna be there for for us. Kickoff underway. The white kits coming away with this. Sailed down the field. Stripling headers this back to Antoine, who will gather it in the bottom of the 18. Chattanooga Football Club taking over offensively. Seconds into this contest, what kinds of things should fans be watching for here today as telltale signs of a game plan unfolding? Well, as we can see, starting you know at, at this beginning, very interesting the position of Stripling on the field, where he's you know more centrally located on the field, where you expect him to be more out wide. So uh, I'm I'm interested to see what what coach coach's plan is for him and on that wide right position of course not him not being there and, and how we're going to line up from from it Prepolita feeds it up to Stripling he's tackled from behind coming away with it Savannah Clovers into the 18 yard box here's a shot goes wide right 
Well, Gabe, if you notice, I pointed out to Stripling in his position on the field, he's receiving the ball to the back of their, of their goal. You know, it's a tricky position when, you know, if you're receiving pressure, he has to be good and, and, and clean with his touches. Otherwise, it, it could become a, a counterattack just like, you know, it happened on that uh, previous play. Moments ago, first scoring chance of the contest came. Ball was taken away on a tackle by Sanchez. He carried it down into the attacking third and a pass to the backside to Bunting, who couldn't finish it. Yeah, that wasn't a, a bad chance from, from Savannah. You know, they, they had a good counterattack just, just then. Battle for possession here on the far end of the pitch into the middle third. Chattanooga Football Club reestablishes this. Pass up to Richard Dixon, now close side to Stripling. A long feed here, and this will go out of play over the touchline. Dixon, just during the last home contest for Chattanooga Football Club, scored his first ever goal for CFC. Impressive stuff. Yeah, our captain, you know, uh, somebody we can trust. It's nice to see him getting to goals as well this season. Um, so we can always expect a good, solid game from Richard. Sanchez looking for Bunting. Bunting gathers possession on the edge of the 18-yard box. Turns a half circle. Flip this outside. Here's a shot deflected away, and it'll roll over the goal line. CFC right now, Gabe, playing very direct. You no know, trying to find Luis and Mbappe. If I said that correctly, I apologize if I didn't. Uh, and again, we're, we're conceding counters now. Uh, Savannah's being able to find space in our backs. So we got to be careful uh, the way we are positioned at the moment. Food City corner kick. Here's Sanchez. Delivered right into the box there and sent back up into the front row of the stands. We might be seeing a long throw here. You can see the players making it their way to the box. And a designated player to, to do that is just, you know, launch the ball to the box. There's that throw in, and the header goes wide over the goal line as the whistle sounds. Yeah, it's interesting to see Savannah has definitely that option of the long throw, which any throws close to the 18 or to the 10 yard line, to the 10, 20 yard line, can be, become crosses to the box. McGrath gathering up possession here. Working his way towards the middle third. Sanchez harassing him. Prepolita keeps it moving. Touched right back to Prepolita. Chattanooga Football Club on the edge of the middle third. Back and forth. Don't like something they see. Bowers feeds this along the edge of the far touch line over to Perez. Looking to penetrate to Dixon, nearly out of play, kept alive. About five minutes into this contest, scoreless here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. A scoring chance a few moments ago. Just past the one minute mark, Bunting nearly took a backdoor feed and stashed it home. We haven't been able yet to play through at Savannah, so the long balls have been our only option so far. Uh, so from from my point of view, I'd like to see CFC linking up the play through the middle a little more. Let's see if we can find gaps there. Keeper comes out to greet this. Some trouble for Savannah Clovers and now over the close touch line. That's a nice pressure there from Nagelstad. So a hard winning throwing for us then creating potentially a chance on this right corner of the field. Mawape to Stripling. Dixon being harassed from behind. Carries it back and sent into the center circle to Bowers. Prepolita back to Antoine. Jack Pondy came way out a moment ago to greet the Ball on the edge of the 18, nearly in danger. Savannah Clovers stripped away. This is Sanchez. Sanchez 
flipped up top, a collision. Antoine calling for a penalty. Chattanooga Football Club with possession for the moment as this is sent out of play and over the touchline. Yeah, another give, another giveaway in uh, our attacking third, uh, where again, we couldn't play through their middle. We lost possession and consider uh, a potential counter attack from, from that place. We gotta be careful. The field here. Shandon Wright leaves it behind. The throw in coming from De Leon. De Leon gives it off as well to Vaughn. Vaughn puts play back underway. Players go down to the pitch here. Sanchez taking a topple right near the touchline. Perez on the far end. You can see the referee today, Gabe. He has that, you know, letting the play go style. He's not calling a lot of fouls, so a lot of the collisions, you know, are still being played on. So I, I like that. I like the, the game is fluent uh, in a nice way. So um, I think that's beneficial for overall, you know, our experience in here watching it. We've already seen one exhilarating scoring chance for Savannah Clovers. Now Chattanooga Football Club is threatening near the edge of the 18. Possession gathered up, pass to Perez. Dixon surveying the pitch in front of him. CFC linking up the play a little better now. McGrath being harassed from behind by Wickman. This one up along the far touch line. McGrath again with it. Sent back to Bowers, just inside of play, greeted by Green. And now Gene Antoine will put Chattanooga Football Club back underway in the middle third. Here's that long pass. Towards the corner, McGrath centers it, and Pondy greeting the ball here. Yeah, we found the space. The, the ball was played well. Um, you know, just maybe a better cross next time can give us a, a clear chance to score. Second scoring chance of the day coming beyond the eight minute mark. Hot start for these two clubs, no scoring yet. Mawape headers at this one, now the pass up the pitch to Sanchez. Sanchez can't handle it, Hargreaves will. Feed to the far side. Savannah Clovers maintaining possession. Two quick passes, and now taken away by Naglestad. Yeah, when the ball uh, hits the referee, um, it's then uh, played back in, a, in such a way that, you know, the possession is kept with Savannah since they, since they had it at that time. Zach Hargreaves was looking for a feed to Barrowman. Yeah, referee right on the way of the ball. This one lofted across an aerial ball, goes out of play, so Chattanooga Football Club regathers possession. Dixon with a header, this one is loose. In the center of the field. Nagelstad coming up behind Barrowman, he gives it off. Hargreaves, two quick passes into the middle third and back to Pondy. Savannah Clovers Football Club. Nisa announced the addition of the club on January 11th of last year. Just a few games into their first season as a professional franchise. In August of 2022, the Clovers hosted their first talent identification program dedicated exclusively for soccer players in the Savannah area. It's a nice um, uh, defensive play there from Sosa winning the ball back. Pass here trickles out of play towards the away bench in front of the Chattanooga home fans. Beautiful sunshiny afternoon for soccer here in the scenic city, 75 degrees. It feels a bit warmer than that though, I would say. Yeah, it's probably a lot warmer on the field where, where the sun is shining and that plays, you know, into the game where the players get a little more tired, you know, it's hard to make those runs constantly. So you might see, you know, some substitutions coming in early 
uh, especially uh, if the weather is a factor. Perez pursued by Green, passes this away. Back to Perez. So as you can see, Gabe, there now Hicks, uh, Dixon playing as a right back and striping into the middle. Very interesting uh, type of position from CFC. I'm sure, I'm sure Coach Raj had something prepared for that. Collision here along the touchline. Quintanilla battling for possession of the ball. Garcia Sosa headed up to the corner. Alex McGrath directing traffic as we enter the 12th minute of play. McGrath signals. Here's the delivery, the long ball, and Pondy gets his fist onto it. That's a good ball. You can see Prepolita in the box. You know what we say, a, a bull in the Chinese shop. You know, just creating chaos, pushing people around, you know, using his physique to, you know, maybe uh, creating a chance to score. Uh, I think he committed a foul this time. So he got, has to be careful because we can't create chances, but if they're calling foul on it, you know, we really can't do much about it. Prepolita was one of the best players in his home country of Moldova, played for the national team from 2014 through this last year and gained pro experience in the country's top league. When Chattanooga FC signed him in the offseason, it addressed a major defensive need for the club. Lost a physical yeah. final at home last year to Michigan Stars FC, so that's certainly something they had on their mind when they signed him. Oh, yeah. I mean, somebody who's already been impressive this season um, and definitely uh, an experienced player with an incredible career so far, and, uh, and, and so nice to have him, you know, in our squad. Chattanooga Football Club. Towards the middle third, McGrath ladled this back to Stripling. Around the world they go in a horseshoe shape. Long feed up the field to Perez. Perez on sides. Here's a feed. Tried for the centering ball and deflected up and out of play. Great defensive effort by the Savannah Clovers right there. Yeah, that has to be a better cross from Luis. You know, we, we got him in a good position, you know, down the flank. So next time I'm expecting uh, to see a better cross uh, from that position since Naglistad was well positioned to maybe just a tap in to the back of the net. Richard Dixon, right near the very center of the pitch. Chattanooga Football Club. Working their way on side. Savannah Clovers now with the ball. Vaughn flips this back to a teammate. SVFC has it taken away by Perez. As you can see, Gabe, you know, reaching the 15 minute mark, uh, Savannah playing on a, you know, with, with three defenders. As far as I'm reading the game, you know, they're, they're definitely expecting a lot of action from our wingers. This has been a trademark from CFC, so they are definitely well positioned to defend those kind of kinds of threats. Um, so far, they've been doing a good job. Not a whole lot of threat from CFC. And Savannah is not really holding back. They're trying to play. They have quality. So I'm impressed with them so far. It's not going to be a, a easy, breezy game for, for CFC today. Chattanooga Football Club with 14 goals in league play this season. They scored 56 goals throughout the course of last season, averaging two and a half per game. Yeah, you can definitely see it's noticeable, you know, that they have a line of five guys there um, in their back line trying to hold, you know, our, our front three. Uh, and you've seen McGrath and sometimes Sosa making some deep runs as well. We're definitely going to need that today to break that, that position from, from Savannah. Chattanooga Football Club seeking to remain undefeated in league action. 3-0-1 against Nisa League opponents this season. 4-1-1 overall. 
The Savannah Clovers are one, two and one in league play. Their first ever win since turning pro. Coming on the 14th as they clinched a professional club victory over Club de Leon. Another situation we noticed the ball touched the referee. The referee decides to, you know, uh, play a drop ball, which, you know, you know it, it should have been Savannah's ball since they had possession. Uh, but Naglista didn't want to hear any of that. <laughs> and uh, try to regain possession straight away. The referee stops again, it's gonna let them play and see if we can carry on from there. Barrowman with a pass up the pitch through the middle third, taken away by Chattanooga Football Club. Oh, that's a good position here. Pondy coming out to greet this. McGrath trying for a centering pass as this goes out of play off of the foot of De Leon. Yeah, we caught Savannah out of shape in the back. You know, I wish we had make, make something more um, more out of that. Um, McGrath arriving at that deep run, you know, couldn't get a cross in, but you know, it's nice to see that we are identifying those moments to pick, you know, those long passes and break their um, line of defenders. 17 minutes elapsed already here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Pondy sends this one. Over to De Leon, long feed up the field is headed at by Chattanooga Football Club. Contested here, Dixon able to take this away, looking for Naglastad, and this would have been offsides. That's right, he was holding offside position. Very smart from him to not go for that ball. Turned over by Pondy. Naglastad again, right near the center of the field. Back to McGrath. Carried and passed over to Perez. Perez greeted defensively by the Savannah Clovers. Now the captain, Richard Dixon. Dixon gives this away quickly. Sanchez coming defensively after stripling. Dixon again harassed by Green. Pass all the way back to Prepolita in the center circle. Close end of the field, Juan Louis. Chattanooga Football Club. Just inside of the touchline working with it. Bit of a collision here as two players get tangled up and the whistle sounds. CFC keeping the possession well, you know, regaining possession by pressing the ball immediately, you know, just a couple of uh, seconds ago, keeping the ball and, and, and trying to create a chance. So um, it's nice to see CFC as an effort in playing the ball, connecting the passes. It's definitely, uh, you know, um, the right way to play, you know, that we try to, to execute here from coach, uh, coaches Raj philosophy, uh, definitely a showing case, showcasing that today. Left behind now Garcia Sosa. Lofted towards the 18 and cleared by Sanchez. Dixon, the backside, here's a shot wide left. What a ball from Reacher. You know, he played straight away, one touch. That ball bent around the back line of Savannah, reaching Luis, who took a great touch. You know, just uh, after that, we need, a, we need a better finish from him. Third scoring chance of the day coming from Juan Luis there. Exciting contest so far and deadlocked with a clean sheet. Thank you for being with us here on 11 Sports and FIFA Plus. Gabriel Shry here with Zeka Fejas. Lots of fun, sunshiny afternoon for Nisa League Soccer. Yeah, uh, I think CFC is dominating this game as far as the possession. You know, that's what that's what I'm feeling from it. You know, Savannah is definitely not just uh, waiting for, for CFC. They're pressing sometimes. They're, they're countering us in a couple of occasions. It's been a, an even match, but I think CFC has been superior in a couple of chances. Not yet a, a clear goal scoring opportunity. So maybe, maybe that coming up here soon. Antoine comes out and elevates as he greets the ball and gathers it with his gloves. Chattanooga Football Club back to work offensively through the defensive third of the pitch, taking their time. CFC through the center third into the face-off circle and now taken by the Savannah Clovers. To 
with a close end. De Leon having some trouble with Garcia Sosa. Garcia Sosa gets a foot on this one. Here we go. Booted it down to a teammate. Here comes Chattanooga Football Club along the touchline. Mawape has this stripped away. Ball is loose. Dixon galloping at this one and goes out of play over the touchline. Mwape with just a really nice piece of skill there. You know, he cut it inside. The defender from Savannah just, you know, he made him sit, sit down. And uh, unfortunately, we were able to keep possession from it, but it was a very nice play. Uh, very nice piece of skill from Mwape. Barrowman came and put that out of play to end a bit of pressure coming from Chattanooga Football Club. Stripling throws this in. A battle for it as McGrath takes it away to Perez. Now the far end of the pitch. Defensively, there is Quintanilla. Chattanooga Football Club, a shot as Pondy falls on this. Nice run from Louis. Now he decided to go on a 1v1. He beat the defender. You know, maybe a better cross next time. But I think we can recognize that Louis has an advantage against their right back. So maybe another opportunity. He could go again. Maybe a better cross again next time. Juan Louis with his second scoring chance of the day in the last three minutes. Both of those coming. Here come the Savannah Clovers. Perez getting into position defensively. Bunting returns this to a teammate. Up the pitch, back to Bunting. Headered at Dixon. Regathers this as Prapolito lets it roll all the way back to Antoine. Yes, here at Savannah, not able to keep possession. You know, you, you can definitely see that that might be a deficiency of that team. CFC easily collecting that ball back. Now we got to just be smart with the ball, keeping it and, and finding the space uh, where Savannah might present it to us. Chattanooga Football Club, it's Perez to Dixon. Bunting again, defensively breaks this up. Savannah Clovers clearing this all the way down into the attacking third, kept in play by Stripling there. McGrath gathered possession momentarily and tripped up by Andrew Barrowman. Yeah, nice, nice ball from, from the back line into McGrath. Yeah, he got stopped there uh, with a foul. Uh, but nice to see those types of efforts coming from our back line. Chattanooga Football Club's Mwape. Working with the ball momentarily in the attacking third. Didn't want to keep it for long. CFC stripling. Mwape and Louise changing sides, as you can see. Um, you know, trying something different here against their um, uh, defenders. Uh, let's see if we can have better luck from them on the opposition. McGrath, a long feed up the pitch. Chattanooga Football Club unable to keep this alive. Two players tied up on the back end right near the goal line. The official going to award a Food City corner kick to CFC. I think that's a free kick, Gabe. She's calling a free kick on, on, on Louise there. So the ball will be even closer to, to the box now. You are correct indeed. McGrath there. Along with Garcia Sosa. Both clubs set up deep inside of the 18. Jack Pondy between the pipes. McGrath calling out to his teammates. Garcia Sosa, the fake. McGrath feeds it to Garcia Sosa and too much juice on the back end of this. We have to, to use these opportunities to either put the ball in the net or hit the target. Or sorry, put the ball in the box or hit the target. And none of that was accomplished now. I'm sure the defenders are frustrated because they make all the way to the box. So maybe next time we need to be a little more careful with those opportunities to either get a cross in or a shot and go. 
Savannah Clovers working this through the middle third of the pitch. Sanchez feeling the heat. Nifty move, bit of footwork here, and this one is lost over the touchline. Throw-in will come from the Clovers. Excuse me, another free kick. Yeah, the referee calling more fouls now, maybe changing a little bit of his approach to the game as you know we, we approach uh, the end, or not the end, but the 30-minute mark on this first half. So interesting to see that the change in, on the referee approach to the game. Savannah Clovers centered and the header goes wide right of the goal to the relief of Antoine. That was not a bad ball, you know. Even the clearance, um, you know, took the ball pretty close to the far post. Uh, thankfully, that came from one of our defenders. The ball wasn't intercepted uh, until you went out. So uh, we got to be careful of giving up fouls. As you can see, they have quality in placing those crosses in dangerous positions. This will come from the far corner. A lot of movement in the box, a lot of tension, a lot of pushes, both sides. So it's definitely, um, and, you know, a lot of heat going on on the box right now. Sanchez blast this. And what a play by Antoine, who gets aerial and gathers that one. Yeah, nicely, nicely done by Antoine. But I think Prepolita there maybe took a hit on his body, or hopefully not on, a, on his head. Um, but a dangerous play, you know. Crosses are tough. If he's a player who's brave and uh, you know physical, who's going to be there. Sometimes, you know, you're going to take a hit, so um, you just got to be careful. Everything seems to be fine with him. Chattanooga Football Club to Garcia Sosa. Back to Prepolita. Prepolita reading the field out in front of him, examining the pitch. Given off, CFC. Into the middle third. Garcia Sosa right along that midfield stripe. Chattanooga Football Club into the attacking end. McGrath looking for Louis and the intercept made by Bunting. It's a good idea. A good good play combination there from CFC building up, building up uh, from the back. Uh, just uh, being a little more careful next time playing that through ball. We might end up, you know, with a good situation going forward. Garcia Sosa went to Dixon, comes directly back to him from Naglastad. Louis on the far end, into the 18 he goes. Perez centering and cleared away by Green. Just beyond the edge of the 18, Chattanooga Football Club regathers around Sanchez to Stripling. Feeling the pressure here, two defenders. And Sanchez is able to force this one over the touchline. Nice to see Stripling coming forward a little more. You know, he, he's playing more towards the center of the field, which in my opinion is not really adding a whole lot of threat for us. So him arriving in more offensive positions could create chances on our right side here of the field. Food City corner kick for Chattanooga Football Club. Garcia Sosa and McGrath there. McGrath inbounds over to Dixon. Dixon has this taken away immediately. Good play defensively. Barrowman for Savannah Clovers. Now howitzered up the pitch by Vaughn. CFC definitely tried something there from the corner that didn't work out. Another opportunity that we could have, you know, placed the ball in the box, but we didn't.
Chattanooga Football Club again to Louis. They like this look today. He's in the corner. Perez. Two quick passes, McGrath to Dixon, back to Stripling. Green there defensively. Hargreaves set up in the way, now to Mwape. Mwape along the touchline, keeping this alive right in the corner and now it'll filter over the goal line. That was well defended by Savannah there. Uh, they shield the ball, didn't commit a foul. Fair play. Jack Pondy will do the heavy lifting here. Savannah Clover's football back underway. Head, head coach David Proctor shouting out onto the field here, directing his program. Savannah Clover's looking hot to start today's game. Yeah, they're playing the, when, I, when they have a chance, they, they go forward uh, well. They don't keep possession as well as us, um, but they definitely have good players. Chattanooga Football Club to McGrath. McGrath centers it to Mawape. Mawape past Hargreaves to Naglastad. This one skied up, Vaughn battling for it. Headered and Pondy gathers this out of the air. It's a nice ball from Wape there to Naglistad. Unfortunately, he didn't have a good touch. But, you know, it's nice to see our positive way of playing when those creative players have the ball. Chattanooga Football Club loses this as it goes out of play over the touchline. Savannah Clovers will inbound, taken away immediately by Garcia Sosa. He loses this over the corner. De Leon was in pursuit. Not enough speed from Garcia Sosa to keep it. Jack Pondy will put us back underway. Yeah, we haven't really created a whole lot of chances at, at, the, at this at 33 minute mark. Love to see us be able to, you know, get some more crosses in, be able to play some more balls uh, in behind their back line. So let's see if we can do that before the end of the first half. Pondy goes from the six, ball is loose as Antoine gathers it. Sanchez hot on its tail. Chattanooga Football Club. The pass to Garcia Sosa. He goes around Barrowman, Dixon, filtered this up the pitch, Green sliding for it, and play stops here. No whistle, and so yeah. players play hustling on. to get back to the ball. Barrowman got this up the pitch to Sanchez. Sanchez along the end of the field, looking back door, and another collision there. This time the whistle will sound. Wow. You know, from, from that play in the middle where, you know, we stopped playing, but the classic rule, you don't stop until we hear the whistle, you know, it's definitely clear that what happened. You know, they continue, they play the counter, and all of a sudden there's a collision in the box. It didn't look too good from here. It looked like a sandwich. We, we made a sandwich out of the Savannah player there. I mean, as, as everybody was jumping for the ball, the referee was close, he saw the foul, he called it, and now is a chance for, for Savannah. Antoine is arguing his case. You saw him there in the center of your screen, down along the goal line speaking to the official. Zach Hargreaves.
from the spot to take the first lead of the day. Here's the shot and the score. The first goal of the season allowed by Antoine, scored by Hargreaves of Savannah Clover's Football Club. I'm sure Gabe Coach Rob is not going to be happy with that, you know, how we conceded that counter, how the play ended up, you know, for that situation where the referee called the PK. And here we go. Now, uh, uh, zero to one, trading from the back. So we'll see. Uh, trying to recognize here CFC's trends, you know, uh, of trying to, you know, pull, pull some goals back. Hargreaves played for Texas United FC. Brings a lot of talent to this ball club. That was a well-struck PK. Antoine was close, not close enough. One nil, the tally here in Chattanooga, Tennessee in the 37th minute of play as the Savannah Clovers leading Chattanooga Football Club. Big time stuff here on 11 Sports and FIFA Plus. Gabriel Shry here with Zeka Fejas. Thank you for tuning in wherever you may be. Fans from all over the world love their Chattanooga Football Club. Nisa League soccer, something that has grown exponentially in the last few years. Local fans love these clubs as well. Savannah Clovers certain to have a huge following down there in Savannah, Georgia. One group of fans, a 50 minute drive from Sequatchie High School. The whole high school soccer team is sitting right up front wearing all purple today. Love to see that. Yeah, it's nice to see the support from the community, you know, uh, other teams around, around the region, around the city, coming together to watch the game. You know, it's beautiful to see. You know, definitely intention of having a team here playing Feeling Stadium, representing the city, representing this area of the country. So uh, very special to have moments like that here on the stadium. Prepolita headers this. Sanchez, the collision with Dixon. Vaughn and Stripling come together. The throw in from Stripling, looking for the Wii. Now sent out a play down low. De Leon puts this up beside the stands onto the green. The game has definitely gotten more physical at the end of this first half, you know, due to the fact of many plays being held like that. The referee misjudging some calls and, and, and letting the game go in others. So um, we'll see what, what we can get from. McGrath, back door, the header. Pondy is coming after this. And now a player still down on the pitch at the edge of the six, slow to rise. Green is shouting at the official on the close side. Yeah, I don't know if the referee saw something there from the box. Hopefully not. Need to keep our heads, because uh, going a man down here wouldn't be exactly what we need trading. Zero to one. Into the 40th minute of play, a one goal contest in Chattanooga, Tennessee. The heat has certainly turned up quickly in this one. CFC, the boys in blue, gather the ball. The Clovers retreating as CFC makes their way through the middle third. Long feed to Perez. De Leon there. Bunting along the touchline, harassed by Perez. Kept alive, Mawape. Finesse this to Perez. Chattanooga Football Club takes over. Prepolita. A laser pass to the close end of the pitch, just inside of the touchline, stolen by Vaughn. Sanchez goes back to him as this rolls over the goal line and out of play. We have to be careful with those passes, you know, coming from the back. This one got picked up by Savannah. Luckily, they didn't create a goal scoring opportunity, but definitely a counter from it. So being careful going forward is going to be key, you know, how we're going to create chances to score.
Throw-in will come from the far end of the field here. Stripling with the bomb up the pitch. Into the attacking third. Mawape to Perez. Perez looking inside, and Pondi again falls onto the ball. A nice play from CFC. All we need right now is that final ball to be played um, in a better way so the strikers arriving on the box can then have a chance to score from it. Chattanooga Football Club, four very good scoring chances on the day. Trailing 1-0 to the Savannah Clovers. 595 kilometer, 370 mile drive, about six hours and 10 minutes from Savannah, Georgia to Chattanooga, Tennessee. The Clovers would love to take some points home in their second ever professional win. This one arced up the pitch into the channel on the close end. Louis harassed by Barrowman, now taken away by the Clovers, De Leon into the center to Bunting. Dixon there defensively. Bunting returns this one. Now lofted, aired up into the center of the pitch and another collision stops play. Savannah is defending well, especially here on our right side. You know, with that line of five defenders, it becomes very hard to beat them, you know, especially trying to bring the ball inside. I think most of our chances are gonna go if we, we continue to try to find balls towards the end line, finding crosses coming in, maybe on an angle back, you know, so our, our strikers then have a chance to at least strike a ball um, that I haven't seen yet so far. Slaughter eyes, Michael Green looks to be all right. Back underway, long ball, close end, Sanchez harassed by Stripling. He passes it to Louis. Bunting coming from behind, Chattanooga Football Club goes to Dixon, now Prepolita to Perez. Perez through the channel into the center third of the pitch. Chattanooga Football Club working this one, Mawape. Pursued as he moves hastily with this. Perez along the touch line. CFC back to Dixon, Dixon to Perez. A little bit of rotation, leaves Perez with some space, centering ball, Naglastad to McGrath, and the howitzer goes up and into the green near the fans sitting under the scoreboard here in Finley Stadium. Finding an early cross this time, you know, allowed the ball then to be uh, played back to the middle. You know, McGrath with a good chance, he has to be a better strike next time, but definitely options we're finding there, solving some problems that we've been having so far. Now we got to continue to execute it and maybe finish in a better way. The fifth quality scoring chance of the match for Chattanooga Football Club, unable to capitalize on those opportunities to this point. A penalty kick, the lone goal scored today by Savannah Clovers, the first of the season, allowed by Antoine Hargreaves, able to dash that home at the 36 minute mark of this contest. Yeah, they're, they're staying disciplined, you know, with their game plan. Uh, executing well so far. Now let's see if it's gonna, it's gonna last all the way to the end of the game. Perez has this taken away by Wickman. Savannah Clovers with it. Clovers losing the ball as it rolls over the far end. CFC the last to touch it. Clovers inbounding here, bunting, battling with Dixon. Now Perez. Chattanooga Football Club. In added time here. To the end of the pitch near the goal line. Battle for the ball. CFC just beyond the edge of the 18. Dixon to the corner, this one is loose. Gathered by the Clovers, now cleared away. 
and added time will expire. One nothing is the score at the halftime break here inside of Finley Stadium in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Savannah Clovers Football Club leading Chattanooga Football Club. Quite the surprise. Yeah, you know, we didn't expect that. We saw, you know, a game plan from them that was well executed. Uh, they capitalized in the counter, you know, a situation in the box where the referee had a good look. He called the PK and, you know, here we go. 1-0 to them and I think, you know, CFC has to do better on the second half if we're going to try, you know, to get back on the score. We're here in Chattanooga, Tennessee, where it's 1-0 Savannah Clovers Football Club. They lead Chattanooga Football Club. The boys in blue trailing in the heart of Finley Stadium here in the scenic city. An interesting development. Savannah Clovers Football Club 1-2-1 in league play on the season. Chattanooga Football Club 3-0-1. They're on top of the table and the Clovers are looking to grab some points and run back to Savannah, Georgia with them. I'm Gabriel Shry here with Zeka Feha. Zeka, what does Savannah have to do to hold on to this lead and escape Finley Stadium with it? Well, Savannah is doing a good job of, you know, uh, defending, um, you know, some of our biggest threats, which are, you know, our wide players. Uh, they have uh, a back line of five defenders on the first half, as we could see. So for, uh, for them to be successful today is going to be key to stay disciplined, stay well positioned there in the back, preventing, you know, long balls. They're playing with the high line, so they got to be a little careful with that. Um, CFC has definitely um, players who can hurt them. Uh, so staying disciplined is going to be key for Savannah, especially if they want to keep, you know, um, this four line as it is at the moment. Fantastic. How can Chattanooga Football Club, you know, what I mean, what does the situation look like for Rod Underwood in the locker room right now? Is he saying we need to come back out, tie this up and get out of here with a draw? Are they coming out looking to pump in a few goals and take a win? It, it's a tricky one, you know. You can definitely see the CFC prepared. It's his strategy focusing on Savannah. But the, the strategy that we we showcased in the first half didn't really hurt Savannah as much. We had chances. I mean, we, we could have potentially had maybe a goal there or, or maybe maybe two, but not so, not a lot of clear opportunities. Uh, so it's going to take a lot of, you know, uh, processing, you know, the, the coaching staff's probably getting together and talking about what, what it's going to be that's going to break Savannah down, especially how they're defending right now with so many players and us not really being able to successfully uh, break down, you know, uh, Savannah on the, on the first half. Well, fantastic. The scoring chances throughout the first half of play here. Two for Savannah Clovers Football Club, five for Chattanooga Football Club. The second one came with that penalty kick, which they were able to finish. Hargreaves took a PK at the 36 minute mark, pumped it home. The first goal of the year allowed by Antoine. Does that sting a little or does that not bother him since it's a PK? I'm sure it does. I mean, he, he is definitely, you know, goalkeepers, defenders, and motivated to keep a clean sheet. Not being able to do that, conceding against a team that CFC had definitely in mind, you know, to, to gain three points from this game. And, you know, it, it's definitely clear that the, the, our defensive line, our, our goalkeeper didn't want to concede a goal. I mean, there's never a situation you want to you face at home. So I'm sure they're going to be thinking about it, but, you know, hopefully, something that we can use to motivate you know us to to prevent other goals coming in that one goal we've had here so far today our rodigio grill downtown goal if you've never been you've got to go there's nothing like it brazilian grill they bring the meat around to your table you've got this little colorful cube and you flip it up and down i love it i love going yeah it's definitely a unique experience i do recommend for those who haven't tried yet Chattanooga Football Club making their way back to the sideline right now. Savannah Clovers FC out on the pitch and ready to go. What kinds of changes? Any final thoughts on changes we might see going into the second half of play, Zeka? Yeah, we might be seeing earlier changes from CFC, you know, especially if we, we can get a, a go uh, back. Uh, Savannah, I think, is already placing subs. Oh, here we go. I think we do have a sub coming in, which is uh, Damian with the number seven. I'm interested to see, I think maybe Mwape coming out. Uh, interesting choice uh, from coach. So we'll see what Damian can offer coming in on the second half. 
Here we go, just a minute away from the second half of play in a one nothing contest on FIFA Plus and 11 Sports. Gabriel Shry here with Zeka Fejas, Chattanooga Football Club, Savannah Clovers football, and the Clovers leading one nothing entering the second half of play. That's big time stuff. You know, we talked about it coming out of this halftime break and analyzing the contest so far. Savannah Clovers are sixth on the table entering today. Chattanooga Football Club, number one. Those points would be huge. Yeah, you know, it's tough to look at the at the table and be, be guessing results. I think everybody's mindset today was three points for CFC. But as you can see, you know, uh, Savannah is a good team. They have good players, you know, they defend well. CFC is going to have to definitely bring on in the second half if they want to reverse and the score line. Uh, it's going to be a tricky one, a challenge for sure. It's going to definitely be a proof of the character of this team, you know, how they reverse, how they come back. You know how they are motivated to you know and chase the game you know now that we have you know a whole half in front of us hopefully we can start creating go go scoring opportunities Back underway here in the scenic city, second half of play. Long ball right away in a collision just on the edge of the channel on the close end of the pitch. Smartly done by Marcus keeping that ball in that corner for a throw. Now we can press from there. Here's the throw in. Dixon and Bunting contesting for this one. Perez comes away with it. McGrath nearly tackled there by Alexandros. Finessed it away, stripling to the far end. This one will find its way over the goal line. Well, we just couldn't chase that down. Into the middle third, Savannah Clovers with possession, Hargreaves flipped around a few times. Pondy sends it up the pitch. Clovers into the attacking third. Ball is loose near the 18, Vaughn. Bunting now, tackled away by Dixon. Stripling sends it back to Antoine. Perez on the move. Coming behind him is Alexandros. Alexandros, a substitution coming out of the halftime break, bringing a lot of pressure early. Do those fresh legs play a big impact on the game a lot? Yeah, they do. You know, as you can see, he's a wide player. You know, he's going to offer, offer uh, some danger positions um, for Savannah. So we got to be careful and watch out for, for fresh legs coming into the game. Louis and Pondy there along the goal line as this one slips out of play. De Leon skying this one up the field over that center stripe. A battle for it. Here comes Chattanooga Football Club, Damian Rodriguez, and the whistle sounds as Wickman pulls it away and sends it out of play. That was definitely a tough challenge there on McGrath, right in front of CFC bench. So you can see the players, you know, uh, calling the referee's attention. So I'm, I'm glad that he, he reasoned with his mind and called the, the fallback. McGrath and Garcia Sosa to take the kick here. McGrath centers it up over to Dixon. Bunting is there, so Dixon flips it across to Stripling. Bowers, followed by Bunting, now Dixon. Airs this out to the close end. 
Garcia Sosa with it. Followed by Alexandros and Vaughn. Stripped away, bunting. Trying to pick his way up the pitch. Alexandros tied up momentarily before bunting escapes with the ball. Bowers will send this out of play. A couple of moments ago, Gabe, we saw CFC's free kick. Another chance to put the ball on the box with the cross, and we were not we're able to do that. I know we, I understand we try to create chances by, by playing, put the ball on the ground, but sometimes a direct cross, you know, from a, a set piece could be an opportunity since we have, you know, tall physical players uh, who have a lot of presence in those types of situations. So I'd like to see us using those, uh, those free kicks, those corners a little better in the second half. Hargreaves to play this. Naglestad standing in front of him. Hargreaves fires this, lofted towards the net, and Antoine gathers that one easily. Naglestad won the golden boot and golden ball. MVP in most goals scored last season. Mostly quiet here in today's contest. He's made some noise early this season. Yeah, he just haven't had, you know, chances to 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 be the player to who he is. You know, he needs the ball in those dangerous positions that we know once he has that, you know, that's when uh, we're going to start seeing and calling his name a little more. That's where he made his uh, reputation. Uh, so he, he speaks for, for the way the game is going today. Sanchez to the close end of the pitch. Alexandros defended by Perez. Quintanilla there for help. Backside headed away by Prepolita. Big man from Moldova making his presence felt. Standing on the edge of the six there. Louis. Harassed by Sanchez, won't keep it for long. Prepolita. Centered up Chattanooga Football Club. Through the defensive third on sides, McGrath. Nice touch from McGrath. Centers this up, looking for Louis and cleared away over the edge of the pitch defensively. I believe that's big green. It's not a bad ball for McGrath, you know. It's noticeable when, when Savan is not really well set up with that defensive position. We can break them down. You know, I, I like to see CFC using those opportunities a little better. Uh, going forward. Shandon Wright, the player who was able to clear the ball off of the pitch defensively. Chattanooga Football Club inbounds here. Well defended by Savannah. Clover shut that down along the edge of the box. CFC will have to reset. Here's a long one towards the corner. McGrath working to keep it alive. He will. Rodriguez into the 18, right near the corner of it. Back to Perez. Perez in a little bit of trouble defensively. Flipped over to Rodriguez. Between two defenders there. Pondy down with the ball. Alexandros and Quintanilla gave Rodriguez a hard time. He was trying to carry it towards the net. Play stopped as Pondy covers that. Yeah, nice to see Damian get into the action. Nice combination play with McGrath. You know, maybe we can give him a little more space next time so he has chances to either, you know, maybe a shot on goal or a cross from that corner. Uh, but nice to see him getting involved into the action uh, at the beginning of this second half into the 52nd minute of play now here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Interesting call by the referee just now. Wickman boots this one to the far end of the pitch. Clovers working it back and forth. Thank you. 
The hostess city loses possession. Dixon to the close end. Now the pass to Perez. Perez heavily defended by Quintanilla. Bunting in pursuit. Prepolita to Stripling. Chattanooga right near the midfield stripe, Dixon. Long ball will find its way over the touchline. We had some good runs there. I don't think that was the best choice, uh, but at least we can keep the ball in their half and press it from here. Savannah Clovers with a clear. Bunting and Prepolita battling in front of the VIP section there. Savannah Clovers will throw in. They lead 1-0 here on 11 Sports and FIFA Plus. Gabriel Shry here with Zeka Fejas. In a one-score game, the Clovers, who are sixth in the NISA on the table, leading, entering the 55th minute of play against the number one team, Chattanooga Football Club. Exciting action here, Zeka. Yeah, it's been it's been an interesting second half. Both teams being careful. Um, not, not a whole lot of uh, chances as we could see, but potentially CFC finding some solutions now as they're filling Savannah out on the second half. Chattanooga's McGrath in the middle third, trying for the pass here. Sent away by Sanchez, CFC regathers. Chattanooga towards the 18, left for Rodriguez as it finds its way over the goal line. Yeah, we're playing those deep balls with too much speed on it. He's running away from us. We've got to be careful how we're placing uh, those types of passes uh, so we can, you know, use that possession, use that uh, location of the future, create something from it. You can be here with us in person. Visit ChattanoogaFC.com. Click under the Tickets tab. Visit the CSC store in person, 1626 Carter Street in Chattanooga or purchase season tickets and sky boxes by calling the CFC ticket office at 423-708-GOAL. Chattanooga, boys in blue wearing those beautiful new kits. They're nice, aren't they? Oh, I love them. I love the new kits. It's a great new look for the club. Oh yeah, very nice design. Shout out to probably David Smotherman director of merchandise for Chattanooga Football Club. You can get all of your Chattanooga Football Club swag at the CFC store on the website. Player slow to rise here, I believe, is the goal scorer, Zach Hargreaves. Hopefully he's all right, still down. Yeah, it's been, it's been physical. This second half, I think, carry on from, from that moment where we saw the PK and, and players not really agreeing with the referee, getting frustrated. CFC has to continue to play. They got to move on. They got to carry on with, you know, their strategy because we can get lost on those types of situations and end up not really uh, using what we have going forward for us. Garcia Sosa leaves it. McGrath to the back end of the pitch. There's the header, and it stays wide right of the goal. I'm glad to see a cross, you know, from coming from a free kick. You know, that was a good ball, um, a good run from, from Bowers. Uh, maybe better executed next time. Savannah Clover's football club into the center third, Dixon. Dixon maintaining possession carefully, filters this through traffic on side and tangled up going down hard at the edge of the six. That's an offside call. Um, a good play from, from Richard, you know, dribbling through the middle, finding a great pass. It was very tight, um, as we can see here. Couldn't really tell, but Louis looked a little bit offside. Uh, again, without having a replay, it's hard to tell. That was a really fast uh, action. But, you know. That was uh, very close. Yeah, he was. And Louis obviously arguing for the call, but if he was offside, it's all for not. Yeah, but as we can see, I think the referee's calling back on a foul on Reacher, where he was pulled back by uh, one of the Savannah players before even he played that pass. 
So interesting here, decision by the referee, CFC with another chance on go, coming out with the free kick that looks like it's either Naglestad or Sosa to take it. Naglestad already two goals in league play this season. Led the Nisa in scoring last season. Naglestad fires a howitzer. This one too much on top. Goes just over the top of the netting. Is that Naglestad first shot on go? Today, I believe so. He had a shot that was high on the other right. side as well. Yeah. I mean, you can see not a whole lot falling from him today. A free kick, uh, we know he, he can uh, score those. I believe he scored one free kick either last season, uh, as I can remember. Um, you know, good to see him, you know, Amy on go for the first time on the second half. Definitely want to see more of that going forward. 19 goals, five assists, and 23 appearances last season for Marcus Nagelstad. Yeah, some impressive numbers. Chattanooga Football Club trailing as we enter the 60th minute of play here in the scenic city. Dixon slow to rise right near the center line. Yeah, referee calling a lot of fouls for CFC the second half. Savannah has definitely been more physical, trying to keep us, you know, uh, tamed. So, uh, yeah, well done by the referee. Savannah Clovers, a very physical brand of football. They are very aggressive. I love it. Yeah, they are. I mean, they need to be today defending like they are. Uh, they're going to have to, you know, find sometimes a way to stop us, sometimes even with uh, free kicks or fouls. Louis, defended by Quintanilla, looking back side and thought he had Rodriguez on the hookup. Here's another cross. Nagelstad there. This one headed away. Still loose towards the edge of the 18. Louis. Gathers this, heavily defended, flipped over to Perez. Now to Dixon, the captain. The captain walking up through the channel and sent out a play. Quintanilla there bringing the heat. Two good crosses, one from uh, Louis, the other from Sosa. You know, um, this is this is really what, what we need. You know, there, those are the types of chances that are going to um, create us some goal scoring opportunities. So nice to see that happening here on the second half. The Food City corner kick coming momentarily. McGrath lofted to the back side, headed at and loose through the box. McGrath again, headed back towards the net. Savannah Clovers cleared, Alexandros with it for a moment before Perez sends it out of play. A nice cross, a nice ball played back by Stripling. Nobody was there really to tap it in, you know, really need to be focusing on those positions, on those second balls as the ball, you know, is being played back across the box. Um, an opportunity we, we could have used just then. Substitution coming here. Sanchez will be coming out of play. Mateo coming in. Yeah, Savannah close and keeping that fresh, those fresh legs in the field, you know, subbing some of those guys who've been putting some harm in it's there uh, defending uh, for the majority of time. So uh, definitely need needed substitutions. Clovers, four goals this season, including the penalty kick they scored on earlier today in the 36th minute. Goal scored by Zach Hargreaves, his first of the season. One nothing the tally here in the scenic city, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Bowers working this one towards the central third of the pitch. Dixon regathers for CFC. Down to Perez. Perez off the center line, back to Prepolita. Anatoly Prepolita keeping Chattanooga Football Club moving. McGrath. Rodriguez loses this, deking about with it. Down to Perez. He's in the center of the face-off circle here. 
Louis. Through the channel towards the 18. This is cleared by the Savannah Clovers. Alexandros in pursuit. Bowers throws it in to Prepolita. Through that center circle. Garcia Sosa. Back to Bowers. Bunting is there as Savannah looking to park the bus. Such an excellent job of sitting back defensively, packing it in tight today. Yeah, they're staying very well disciplined in the back, creating uh, you know a very hard line to be break by CFC. Early on in today's contest, Chattanooga Football Club really liked passing it over the top of the defense to the corner. And they've really reined that in here in this second half. Yeah, if we're gonna be doing that now, we gotta play some early balls, you know, and, and find those gaps. Uh, they are there, just not really being used by CFC at the moment. Dixon, back to Bowers, to Prepolita. Near the center of the pitch here. The Savannah Clovers, their strategy change has really been a, a massive pivot towards the defensive efforts of the club. Yeah, bringing fresh legs, especially, you know, I think they had already four subs or three so far and one more coming in. So um, they're definitely going to try to stay uh, as fresh as they can defending, which is their strategy here in the second half. Louis near the edge of the 18. Back to Perez. Beyond the boot of Alexandros. Vaughn in pursuit, Rodriguez able to escape. CFC maintains possession. Dixon, blast one to the close side. This pass in the corner to Louis. Louis into the 18, tried to go around the defender. He goes down hard and a reaction from the crowd. Two players lying down on the pitch in the edge of the box here. Yeah, the referee's either calling that a dive or a foul on the Savannah player, which, you know, Louis went down too easy, in my opinion. Especially, I'm not, I don't have a great angle from up here, but he really jumped after have played the ball across the defender, and the referee did not buy that. So, you know, tough luck. Uh, I thought it was a good ball played by Dixon. It was a ball played early. You isolate Louis on a corner that you want him to have the ball and the space. You know, next time, instead of going for the PK, can we try to create a chance? Can we create, create, try to create a yard or two, get a cross in or a shot? You know, I think that, that those chances will be more beneficial to CFC than trying to create a PK situation, which they see if the well-positioned referee is not really buying it. Quinton Nia, the player that was down on the pitch for the Savannah Clovers. I agree with your sentiment on that. You know, it was a great fake by Louis. Just barely caught the boot of Quinton Nia, and he could have been hurt. Maybe he hit his right. knee hard when he went down, but either way, the official says that's not enough. Yeah, I mean, contact happened, but just the way that he went down the box, it, it, it just, it wasn't a great look, especially on referee's mind. He was well positioned, he saw it and didn't call it. Jack Pondy, his fifth start of the season, eight goals allowed in his first four starts, zero today. Yeah, keeping a clean sheet so far. Here comes Rodriguez, has it stripped away by the Clovers. Dixon with a nifty move, up to McGrath. McGrath to Rodriguez on the edge of the 18 offside. Yeah, I'm a little doubtful about that one, Gabe. I, I, I'm not sure. You know, it looked pretty tight. Damian making a run in the, in, in the back, and, and it was a good ball. It was played correctly. Again, a, a tight one. The, the, the lineman uh, called against us, so I'm not really sure about that one. I almost called him onside, but I did that earlier, and I was wrong. So yeah. I was like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't have the technology, you know, like the, the big leagues do, like with the VAR, all that stuff. But again, it was on the referees now. You know, and there's something to be said. There's a great debate right now in sports about is human error part of sport? Yes, in my mind, yes. I don't, 
I, I, I'm not a fan of the, the virtual, um, the, the, you know, checking those plays again and calling those things after they've been already called by the referee on the field. I, I don't like it. I agree. I, you know, and there's nothing worse as a fan. You know, I grew up watching sports, love all kinds of sports. There's nothing worse than having a blown call ruin a big game for your team. But yeah. it's just an element of sports that, you know, it's kind of sad to think we might live in a world without that. Think about all the records and right. great seasons in the history of, of professional sports and college right. sports. Yeah, that, it's almost, that would be different. Yeah, it's tough to celebrate a goal these days because you never know if it's going to be called back. Speaking of calls, the call right there. Chattanooga Football Club regathers possession. We're into the 69th minute in a 1-0 ball game here in the scenic city. Inside of Fort Finley, the boys in blue trailing to the Clovers of Savannah, Georgia, the hostess city who have made the long drive here to Chattanooga. This is Rodriguez, who's just inside of the touchline for CFC. Duking it out for possession here with the Clovers. Stripling followed by De Leon, Vaughn right in front of him. To the center of the pitch, McGrath can't gather this cleanly. <gasps> Trying to center this up and now the call again. Yeah, another call there from, from the line, which I thought was very, um, you know, close. But again, he, he's raising his flag. I heard your reaction before I heard the whistle. <laughs> yeah, I apologize. I try to keep it, you know, to myself. But this one, I, I thought this one, he looked on side at uh, CFC's players. So I'm not sure what he saw there. Pondy with a delivery through the center of the field. Bowers and Dixon there vying for possession of this one. Alexandros loses it. CFC. Long feed again for Rodriguez. A little bit of space just inside of the 18. Fired towards the center there and cleared away. Some defensive help this time for Pondy coming from the likes of number 19, Shandon Wright. Nice ball there to Damian who receives it. You know, takes takes his shot. Maybe maybe a better finish next time was a good run. You know, well positioned, nicely done by him. Food City corner kick, Nagelstad. Dixon trying to get some penetration here. Perez looking towards the penalty arc. The ball comes back to him. Stripling followed by Alexandros to Bowers. He's chased down from behind. Pressure coming from Mateo there. Antoine, a beam up the pitch. Gathered by McGrath in Chattanooga. Inside of the 18, centering feed, Dixon. Richard Dixon across to Stripling. Stripling. Feeds to Rodriguez, looking to center it and cleared away again by Wright. CFC playing more direct now. Uh, a good intention there by Damian trying to play back to Naglestad. Unfortunately, was in intercepted uh, again. But nice, nicely, nice action here from CFC on this this point of the second half. The Clovers leading one nothing after they scored on a penalty kick in the 36th minute of play. Hargreaves scored the lone goal of the contest here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. This is FIFA Plus 11 Sports Football. I'm Gabriel Schrein here with Zeka Fejas. We are entering our 73rd minute of play in this 1-0 ball game. Chattanooga Football Club really bringing the pressure here down the stretch. Yeah, bringing a lot of pressure, you know, trying to go with those long balls. Another call here from the lineman, which was tight, you know, so since he's calling, and, you know, we gotta be careful, you know, making sure we're all side because he's not letting one go. And you can hear the fans getting into this one here in Chattanooga. Well, yeah, they're, they're definitely expressing their frustrations with the officials. Mason Moyer, so the bomb up the pitch. 
Richard Dixon, followed by Alexandros. Chattanooga Football Club towards the center field stripe. With haste, here comes CFC, Stripling. Taken away by Hargreaves and now cleared. Skying up the field as Prepolita greets this one with a header. Bowers cuts off the feed and centered up to Antoine. Alexandros in hot pursuit there could have had an opportunity. Hargreaves, quick feed, now two. The Clovers looking to set something up. Flip to the interior, and again, the big man from Moldova clears this away. Yeah, CFC well positioned. You know, Savannah really can't create much from their possession. So again, it's really up to, to Chattanooga to see what they can create, knowing that Savannah is not really offering threats going forward. Prepolita, six foot three defender, making a difference, making a splash all season long to this point. He's been important here today, says he loves Chattanooga, Tennessee, being here with his family. Very thankful in his words in an interview he gave this week to the Times Free Press. Coach Rod Underwood describes him as a great soccer player. Yeah, it's nice to see people coming from all over the place, you know, and, and settling here in Chattanooga and enjoying the city and being proud to play for the team, not, not only representing themselves, but understanding the value that this team has to the community. Chattanooga Football Club with possession here. Clovers working to come up with a takeaway. Hargreaves blows a tire. Rodriguez flipped to the interior near the penalty arc in McGrath, and he goes down. Mateo had a hand on him, and now the whistle. Yeah, the referee calling a foul there on a, on a ball that was lost by McGrath. It was a... From here, it looked like it was a you know a fair play. It didn't really look like a foul, but the referee calling that uh, you know for CFC's um, uh, delight. Now we have a chance here with a free kick, uh, another free kick on the top of the box. Naglastad, Garcia, Sosa, Perez. That's Louis joining them there near the edge of the penalty arc. Captain steps away. Perez makes his way into the edge of the 18. Garcia, Sosa, and Nagelstad. Leaves it. Marcus, the beloved son of the scenic city, wide left. A shotgun blast. Couldn't find netting. That was close. I mean, he played on, on the far post. Uh, the ball looked like he just glanced past it. Uh, you know, a great take from Marcus, you know. Um, I don't know if he's going to have another chance like this, uh, but it's nice to see that we're getting closer uh, to the goal now. The 77th minute of play here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. The Clovers of Savannah leading 1-0. Pondy. Blasted this one towards that center field stripe. Naglestad goes down again in that center circle on the whistle. Savannah trying to buy time there, playing the ball away from, from the free kick position. And then referee awarding Savannah play with a yellow card. Hargreaves is the one who receives the yellow card and the warning there. Got foul vision. Kapperman, White, and McGarvey Eye Care can help with that. And a change coming down along the sideline here. Lenny Lopez 
had a moment to speak with him down on the pitch before the match coming in and getting a change for Joseph Perez. Lenny Lopez is a big dude. Yeah, he's a, he's, he's a big man. Yeah, definitely a physical presence, but I'm curious to see what CFC is going to do with this substitution. He takes the left back out, put a striker in. So let's see how things are going to shift in order to fit Lopez uh, into the field. Here's Lopez right here. Lenny Lopez fired inside, booted away. Rodriguez battling for this, then rolls over the goal line. I mean, first play, impressive from Lopez. So uh, you could definitely expect more from him now that he's on the pitch, causing trouble already. That's Vaughn on the goal line there in the central left side of your screen. Looks like Pondy will check on him. He appears to be okay. Checking on Vaughn here, you can see. Yes, yeah, Savannah buying time now. You know, they, they got to run the clock. The referee, in my opinion, should took control of this situation by asking the player to step off the field. The field. So play can continue. Not really um, a lot of action coming from the referee now, right now. So I'm sure um, the CFC players down the field, the coaching staff, I mean, the fans, everybody frustrated with that kind of action coming from Savannah. We're into the 80th minute of play, all told. That took about 90 seconds for that sequence to finish up. Yeah. I mean, Savannah's doing what they need to do, which is run the clock, and they're going to find opportunities to do so. They're going to do it, which got to be aware and hope for the referee's uh, action in those kinds of situations. Obviously, we're going to have some significant added time at the conclusion of this contest. Yeah, we're expecting, we're expecting, I don't know, four, maybe five. Right now, we'll see. Potentially more, depending on what kind of time-wasting strategy Savannah comes up with. So, Zeka, in your mind, have we already seen the shakeup and the change we were going to see from Chattanooga Football Club with the substitution of Lenny Lopez? Or is there another change to the strategy coming here inside of 10 minutes? Well, the, the, this change caused us to change a little bit of our formation. Here comes Louis. Two defenders between him and the goal. He sends it into the 18 and cleared away. So CFC is putting a lot of people uh, up top. Now maybe trying to match closer to their numbers in their back. So the idea is that we're going to have players matching up closer uh, to Savannah. So hopefully more chances coming, you know, from, from CFC now on ours. The score is 1-0 here on 11 Sports and FIFA Plus. The single goal of the day came on a penalty kick in the 36th minute of play. Hargreaves scored that one. It was a beautiful score, the first of the season, allowed by Chattanooga Football Club's netminder. Gabriel Shry here with Zeka Fejas. Thank you for being with us for these late stages of this thrilling contest. Prepolita. Finesses this towards the center of the pitch. Now Dixon, left for Bowers. Back and forth they go. Bowers defended heavily by Mateo. Dixon. The long ball, Pondy there. Louis, not in time. Yeah, if we're gonna be playing those direct balls, they gotta be better placed, so then we can find those wide players or, or the front players in dangerous positions. Bowers headers this. Lopez in pursuit, a collision, and now the official indicating too much contact. Hargreaves, the player down on the pitch, the lone goal scorer in today's match. Yeah, every chance they have, they're going to go down. They're going to, you know, 
take their time coming back up. Booming kick by Hargreaves here. Antoine comes out to greet it. How about the hands on the keeper for Chattanooga Football Club? Yeah, he claims that ball really well, you know, coming from crosses, from long balls. Uh, he has really nice timing uh, on those types of situations. The hands of both of the goalkeepers here today in this contest, just electric. Antoine coming out to greet those opportunities. Jack Pondy has been fantastic. I have 10 scoring chances jotted down on my note sheet here, and he's made big saves on a lot of those. We have a yellow card. Yes, some frustration from CFC's players right now. Uh, referee making some uh, some calls on the field that they don't, they're not really liking it. Uh, a yellow card for McGrath, as I understand. So we got to be careful, you know, staying, you know, with our minds focused here uh, with what we need to do, and that is get some goals in. This is De Leon for the Clovers. Speaking of Clovers, you know, Brian Wright runs the stadium here. He's the facilities manager. I don't know what his title is, probably director of all things Finley Stadium. Right. Awesome guy. You know, as the old saying goes, paint the fence, walk the dog, right? Mm -hmm. Does it all, gets the newspaper. He planted a collection of native plants in the planters around the stadium. So really pretty. Next time you're in Finley Stadium, be sure to check it out. Oh, for sure. I'm very interested in that. Thanks for letting me know. We're getting into some late game dramatic stages here. And another card. Got foul vision. Kapperman, White, and McGarvey Eye Care can help with that. This one is going to go against Mateo. Look at the big man. Gene Antoine all the way up the pitch. He's over the center of the field. Yeah. <laughs> They're trying to get as many people forward as they can, so the goalkeeper steps in to take this one. Antoine with the delivery, skying up the pitch into the 18, and Pondy comes out to greet it. Up to Mateo, who was just carded, taken away by Chattanooga Football Club. And offside here, signaled for as Lenny Lopez gathers the ball. Interesting call here by by the lineman. Substitution coming, Rodriguez coming on. Fabian, who is Damien's brother, curious enough. So brothers play on the flanks of the field today. Clovers leading 1-0 here. We are entering the 87th minute of this contest. Savannah, a booming kick up the pitch. This one finds its way over the touchline. Rodriguez can't reach it. Referee calling a fall, a fall on CFC. Antoine centers the football. Stripling. On the far end, here comes Chattanooga. Rodriguez defended heavily by Tate. Rodriguez keeps it just inside the goal line, the shot and a score. It looks like it's being waved off. Yeah, it looks like the ball went out of bounds before Damian made the cross. Um, thought that was the right call from the referee, you know, but, but those are the situations we're trying to create. So nicely done by Damian there on the corner. Lenny Lopez stretching a cramping clover in the center of your screen there. Rodriguez carried that on side, fighting for it on the goal line, and I agree as well. Looks like he stepped just a foot over the line. Yeah, he was close. Um, 
nicely done by him. Nice piece of skill. I mean, he, he's he's the kind of player that you expect to do that, and, and he does it well every time. It's, it's very impressive. You know, maybe an earlier cross would have, you know, stopped the referee from calling that go back. But, you know, a, a nice chance created by CFC. Eighty-ninth minute of play here inside of Fort Finley. One nil. Eleven Sports FIFA Plus. We will certainly have added time. Just how much is yet to be determined. Kind of a tough call. Yeah, I'm curious to see. I'm expecting at least five minutes of added of added time. Anyone just joining us moments ago? McGrath took a great feed from Rodriguez. But Rodriguez about a foot out of play over the goal line, much to the relief of the Clovers, it would have been an equalizer. Alexandros loses possession to CFC, the boys in blue. Looking up the field, trying to connect with Lenny Lopez. He uses his height, it's not enough. Moyers, there defensively. Lopez leaves it. Rodriguez from the touchline. Maybe a long throw. Inside, loose just over the top of the pipe. Six minutes of added time signaled for. That was a great chance created by uh, Brad Pelita with the flick on the head, and he arrived for Fabian to have a chance in front of the goal. Unfortunately, he didn't catch it very well, and the ball you know, went high, but it was, it was a chance there for CFC to get a goal back. Jack Pondy. Taking his time. We are into added, added time. Need more time for your business? Contact HHM for all of your accounting needs. Chattanooga Football Club certainly needs this six minutes. Trouble here. Antoine trying to escape Alexandros. He's going to go ahead and clear it up the pitch and over the touchline. Yeah, got to be careful with those situations, Antoine. Here come the Savannah Clovers into the attacking third, coming to life offensively here late as this one sails up into Rossi. The throw in by the Clovers. Chattanooga Football Club coming away with the football. Poison Blue trailing 1 0 here in added time. Long feed for Rodriguez. Entered away, Mason Moyer. Gene. The bomb up the pitch. Entered at by the Clovers, Dixon now. Ball finds its way to Mateo. Clovers over the center field stripe. Alexandros. Deking around defenders, Dixon bringing the heat. Hargreaves up the field for Mateo, offside is the call. Antoine with a bomb up the pitch. Collision here and the whistle sounds as a clover is slow to rise. Referee calling a foul there by a challenge by Lopez. Again, Savannah is going to use, you know, those situations in their advantage. They're going to go down. They're going to waste time. We got to, we got to be clean on the ball, trying to keep possession so we avoid chances for Savannah to, to run the clock. Here in 
outside of Fort Finley in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Booming kick up the pitch. Antoine to put play back into action. Chattanooga's keeper. The long delivery to Lopez, headed once, now twice, and it finds its way over the goal line. Here you go, corner kick. Food City corner kick coming here in added time. The six is loaded up. Garcia Sosa there on your screen. He'll be the one to make the delivery. One nil, Savannah Clovers. Yeah, a lot of pushes back and forth there in the box. Not sure if we need that at this point. Prepolita is holding Pondy back. Here's the delivery from the corner. Header and it finds its way into the net. Chattanooga Football Club has tied the ball game. Unbelievable. The Scenic City makes it 1-1. Prepolita, the man, the big man. You know, causing all sorts of trouble on Savannah's boxes. And he comes strong, he comes, you know, efficient, using his body, using his height. At the end of the game, I mean, a cross, a good, gro a good cross in, he puts it in, you know. Um, you know, we needed a go, here we are, you know, carrying that one point at home. Do we have time for another one? And the fans fired up now here in Finley Stadium. Savannah Clovers have picked up a gear. And we'll stand in pursuit of this as bubbles litter your screen from those Chattahooligans. CFC through the center third, looking for Lenny Lopez. Flipped away by the Clovers. Mateo boxed out. Garcia Sosa, long delivery, popped up, Nagelstad pursuing this, Pondy coming out to greet it. Ball's loose, Rodriguez in trouble, nearly touches the official. Garcia Sosa to the backside, stripling the feed near the 18, and taken away from Rodriguez as it travels over the touchline. The throw in, coming from stripling. Oh, we're going for a long throw again. We need to get Prepolita in the box. Here he goes. Anatoly Prepolita, the one in the center of your screen there, jogging down into the 18. Big man from Moldova, Bowers. Here's the delivery, sailing inside. Headered at, it's loose and cleared away. Great defensive effort by the Clovers. Oh, that was a chance. Naglostad. Another long throw. They can feel the time burning here and at a time. That might be the last play of the game. 1-1, 11 Sports, FIFA Plus. Will it be a draw? Bowers tosses this inside, headed oh by Prepolita, and it's a score. Will it stand? Oh, no, he's calling a foul. Unbelievable. What a moment here in the scenic city. What Prepolita did the referee the play? What, what is the, the referee seen there? I'm not sure. Yellow card. 
here late in added time, wipes away a prep elite goal, which would have given Chattanooga Football Club the lead as time expired. And so this will be a draw. What a stat and what a way to return to Savannah, Georgia as heroes. An unbelievable ending and the Clovers able to hang around through 90 minutes with the number one team in the league. That's impressive stuff. Yeah, um, nice to see CFC, you know, stay in the game. Uh, still, you know, pushing for that goal, pushing for, for the tie. And then after that, we, had a, we have another chance to try and maybe go for, for the win. Um, but yeah, good job from Savannah, staying very consistent defensively today. You know, it was a hard team to break through. CFC did not create a whole lot of chances like we like to see it. But you know, it was it was a good good game. You know, from from both teams. You know, so uh, definitely a taste of of defeat from from Chattanooga as we're playing at home, trying to get the three points every every time we can. And today we, we just you know couldn't execute on it. Okay, Zeka, who is your man of the match? For me, the man of the match has to be Prep Elite. He stayed on it, you know, he was fighting hard for all those balls going in the box. So for me, Prep Elite is the man of the match. Perfect, there you have it. An exhilarating 90 minutes that ends in a draw. The Clovers of Savannah have to be more than happy with the performance of their ball club here in this one in Chattanooga, Tennessee today. I wanna thank you for tuning in for this excellent contest. For the